Hi everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today, today I'm going to show you all how to make creamed peas. Here's what you will need. You will need peas. Make sure you have fresh peas. You never want to use the peas in the can because it just won't turn out right. You will need frozen peas or fresh peas. I have a bag here. And this one here has just a little bit in there, so I'm going to finish that bag off. You're going to need sea salt and cracked black pepper. You will need butter, flour, as well as whipping cream. And we're going to use a little bit of milk as well. So, the first thing that you want to do, you can see that I have two pans. This pan over here to the left will be the pan that we cook our sauce in. This pan here, we're going to go ahead... And we're going to start to cook our peas just like so, okay? Now, these peas have not been thawed out. Let me get some scissors to open this one. These peas haven't been thawed out. Just taking them right out of the freezer. What you wanna do, you wanna start to cook these onto a medium-high heat, all right? And you'll need some water so let me grab some water here I'm so excited for this recipe I know it's just cream peas but guess what guys I love I absolutely love me some cream peas and we're gonna make some today and I'll probably eat this whole batch myself <laughs> okay look at this here put you some in there how much just get you some in there so we can get them nice and cooked what we're going to do is we'll cook these peas for around about uh, maybe 10 to 12 minutes, all right? After that 10 to 12 minutes, we are going to drain these peas, drain the water off, and then I'll show you how to make our beautiful roux and how to make this gorgeous sauce. Okay, everyone, my peas have cooked for 10 minutes. Now what I want to do is I want to drain the water off of my peas and now let's get started on our beautiful roux. So I have a pan here. I'm going to turn my pan on to medium high. You want to use three tablespoons of butter. Okay? Alright. Once that gets nice and melty and bubbly, or frothy, so to speak. We will use three tablespoons of flour as well. Okay, when you're making a nice roux, you always wanna use equal parts of the butter, the fat, whatever type of fat that you're using, and equal parts flour, all right? Okay, everyone, you can see that our butter it's nice and bubbly and frothy. Now we're gonna go in with three tablespoons of flour to get our roux started. Medium high heat, don't turn it any higher than that, all right? Beautiful, just like so. I wanna grab my soft spatula. Let's see where I have it. Okay, I have my rubber spatula. We're just gonna go in and kind of Put the butter and the flour together. All right, and we're gonna start off with some milk. And I'm not gonna give you measurements for the milk. You just kinda of put it in there until you get your desired texture of your cream sauce, okay? But I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you exactly what to look for. All right, so we're gonna to continue to get this butter well incorporated with the flour. So my flour seems to be a little bit dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in and put another tablespoon of butter in there, okay? And that's okay, it's not gonna mess anything up, don't worry about it, okay? You just compromise when things happen, okay? Just like this, beautiful. Now this right here, this is exactly what we're wanting. Everything's incorporating just beautifully. Okay, everyone, see this here? This is what you're gonna start to see. It's 
it's gonna look just like this. You just kind of just keep smashing that flour and that butter together, all right? And what you wanna do is you wanna take the time to cook this flour for a couple of minutes or so because you wanna cook off that flour taste, all right? Once you do that, then we're gonna go in with our milk and our whisk and we're just gonna start whisking away. All right, see how everything is nice and smooth? And I'm just doing this motion, nice and smooth. This is how I like to do my ruse. All right, the flour's cooked long enough. All you need is a couple minutes, maybe two or three minutes to cook that flour taste out. Otherwise, if you don't do that, what'll happen is it'll taste chalky and floury. All right, so now, whoops, I just made a mess. Go in with your milk. How much milk? Listen here. Just put you some in. <laughs> put you some in. In the description below, I'll tell you exactly how much milk you're going to need, all right? So then, I filled that up with milk. I'm going to wipe this milk off of my stove that I spilt. Okay. Grabbing a rag so I can wipe my stove down just like so. All right, and just whisk away. And you can see how it's starting to get nice and thick. That's what you're wanting. Beautiful. This is what you want to start your roux, to start your cream base for these beautiful peas. Now let's turn it down. Turn it on down to low. All right, and what I like to do you all that know me, you all that know me, you know that I love to use heavy whipping cream. We're going to go in with some heavy whipping cream after I get any lumps that I may see in here. Okay, it's nice and creamy. Now I have my heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to start pouring it in there till I'm happy with the consistency. Okay, see that there? What I love about heavy cream is it's so inexpensive. It's not expensive at all. You would think it would be expensive, but it's not. This bottle here cost me 99 cents, <laughs> and I use a lot of it. So I'm so grateful for the price that I'm able to find it for. This right here, this right here can be the base of your chicken pot pie. Absolutely the base of your um, fettuccine alfredo, absolutely, for your sausage and biscuits, sausage gravy and biscuits, yes, absolutely. So you can see this nice, beautiful consistency. That's what you're wanting. What you wanna do now is you wanna go in with some cracked black pepper, Absolutely you do. And I'm gonna give it a taste, and if I feel like I need a little bit of sugar, we're gonna put just a little pinch of sugar in as well. We're gonna put a little bit of sea salt in, just like so, to season up our cream sauce. All right, I feel like I need a little bit more cream, put you some in there, just like so. My cream is nice and beautiful and this is how yours should look as well nice and beautiful let me drain my peas and i'll be right back okay everyone i drained my peas let's go ahead and get your peas in just like so beautiful i cannot wait i absolutely cannot wait to eat these peas now a lot of people will take cream peas and they'll eat their peas over top of toast which is an awesome idea. And then there's some people that like to cook um, pearl onions in with their peas. And then there's some people that like to chop up ham pieces, pieces of ham, and put in with this. You can do that. You can put salmon or tuna in with your cream peas. This right here, is Cream Peas 101. Hey, listen here, if you never had this before, you better make you some. This right here is good loving, you hear me? If you never had any good loving before, this is where you're gonna find it. Right in these cream peas because they are delicious. They're sweet 
It's nice and creamy. It's just, it's the most beautiful, most simple dish. Most simple, most beautiful. And there's so many things that you can do with this. If you wanted to put some type of noodle in here, you could. You could put an elbow macaroni in here, a bow tie macaroni. And then you can just go from there and build and put different things in here. You could put chunked up pieces of salami and pasta. You know, I want to grab a spoon because I have to give this a taste. I want to see what I'm looking for is I want to make sure that my cream is nice and velvety. And then I'm going to go ahead. I want to put another tablespoon of butter in here because the butter will just finish this sauce off. Make it nice and beautiful and shiny and velvety. But like I said, here in a second, I'm going to grab a spoon because I want to taste it and see if it's exactly what I'm looking for. So we're gonna do just that. Nice and beautiful. Hoo -hoo oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this, guys. Give that a taste and let me know what you think. You never had these before? Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Every time. Oh my goodness. Nice and beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I am a true fan of cream peas. I do feel like they need a little bit of salt. Okay. I also feel like they need some more cracked black pepper. Okay. And I also feel like. I'm gonna put just a pinch, maybe a teaspoon of sugar in there. Let me grab my sugar. Just a teaspoon will do you. You don't wanna put a whole lot in there. Now some of you might say, but Gina, is that gonna make the dish sweet? No, not at all, not at all. But what it will do, it'll kind of round the sauce off and make it just nice and beautiful, okay? So go ahead and put you some in there. If you're that person that says, no, but I don't want to put it in there. Well, here's the thing. It's this simple. Don't put it in there, okay? It's really up to your discretion. All right? So give it a nice stir. And this is what we have. Just like so. And that extra pad of butter that you put in there towards the end makes it absolutely amazing. Now, I'm going to grab another spoon. I want to give this another taste and see if everything is what I'm looking for. Like I said, make you some toast and just pour this right over there. You can make some chicken on the side and have this on the side of mashed potatoes and you are set. This right here is one side dish that you want to start making and putting on your dinner table for your family. Your kids will eat it. It changes the texture of those peas that kids see. It gives it a cream sauce and it just is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I want the world to try cream peas because they're so good. All right, let me try that. Well, mm, that's it. That's it. Nice and beautiful. This right here, cream peas 101. Hey, listen here. If you all, mm, 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 that is so tasty. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you, so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and make a plate. Give this a taste. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Be right back. Okay, I have my bowl. Let's make a nice bowl. Hoo-wee, this is good. Mmm. Hoo-wee, look at that, look at that, look at that. Amazing. It's nice and beautiful. This right here is really refreshing. Have you all, by the way, while I'm thinking about peas, have you all seen my video for pea salad? If you haven't seen my video for pea salad, check it out and let me know what you all think. That recipe 
is absolutely amazing. When I fed the pea salad to my family, they lost their mind. They lost their mind, they went crazy, I went crazy. Check it out. Check that video out. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love time, your mercy and understanding, and your blessings. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Please forgive us for our sins. Lord, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for the roof over our head, the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's dig into this, guys. Hold on. I'm really trying to hold on to this bowl. I want it up to the camera, but this bowl is hot, guys. Look at this. Dig right in and let me know what you think. Look at that. Taste that right there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 This right here. Oh, my goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This right here is never overrated. This right here is absolutely amazing. Just give it a try. Give it a try one time. I know it's just peas, but it's good when you make it this way, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Here's the thing. The cream sauce becomes so rich and delicious. When you use that extra butter, you put that sugar, that salt, that pepper, and then most people just use regular milk, not Gina Young. Gina Young likes to use the cream with it. When you use that cream, it takes it overboard. You hear me? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm-mm-mm. I can't wait to get off of here and finish this. Man, this is good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Every single bite. Oh, man. You can see the seasonings on that spoon. Mm. Make this this weekend. Make it for your family and let me know what they think. Next time you make peas, don't just boil your peas and put salt and pepper in them. This is how I want you to try your peas. This is how peas should be eaten. <laughs> I'm so serious. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night. Taste one more bite, guys. I can't stop. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good.